is Serena for Pretty Wild Things and I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible because I have some footage to show you which is quite long but as you can see from the title I made a YouTube partner yesterday and I am so so happy and I do have you guys to thank for that because without you guys obviously I would not be here, I wouldn't have um, 1380 subscribers which is an insane amount um, of people and I just really wanted to give something back to you guys. I've had this competition lined up for about a month and a half and it was going to be for my 1500 subscribers but due to YouTube deleting inactive accounts I've lost like 100, 150 subscribers in the past kind of month so when I found out I was YouTube partner yesterday I decided that I couldn't wait any longer and I was going to do the giveaway today for you guys because as a massive thank you and they're going to be three winners so first of all I'm going to show you what you can win ish um, this is my iPod and this is a skin it's like a very very thin sticker and um, it says my name on it there and this is the little skull which you will see on my new banner on my channel page this is my laptop and this is a skin as well and um, I designed both of those myself um, and I got them from wraps.com and I'm going to be giving away three gift vouchers to wraps.com so that you can put it towards your own iPod skin or laptop skin. Um, iPod ones are only 7 99 which is really really cheap because they're so so durable. I'm going to write here what they're made of because it's a complicated name but it's really really good um, material and I'll mention about my old one in the upcoming footage um, so I'm going to pass you over to Serena in the past and she's going to show you how she I'm talking about myself in third person this is just weird she's going to show you how to um, how I put these on and then I will come back and tell you how you can win thanks Serena hi guys hope you're all doing okay there in the future um, I was going to save this for this video um, but I had to put it on now because I can't wait all the way till the giveaway and um, I just thought it would be good if I filmed me putting it on for you guys so it arrived this morning which was really really quick because I only ordered it day before yesterday so it came really quick it came in this big paper envelope with this um, card so it won't be bent or anything for some reason it's got my name twice I won't show you my address but there's my name and um, it came with these items in so it came with the invoice and then it came with the instructions which I'll read to you in a minute and then it came with my two items which I love so 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 much um, I've probably already talked about these at the beginning of this video but I don't know yet because I've not recorded that yet but um, yeah I'll talk about it then so these are my two products that I love very very much and this is my iPod classic so this is the skin which I got last from wraps.co.uk and it looks like this and it's the background from my YouTube channel and it has my name at the bottom and I got this for my 17th birthday from my dad um, I had sent him this design because I really really wanted it and it's $7.99 for a iPod classic design so that's that, but I've decided it's time for a change. I am going to keep this uh, back on the packaging of this, so in case I want to change it again, I can just stick it back on, um, because I'm going to miss it, because I've had it on for literally like two years, or year, 17th birthday, I'm only 18, so it's only a year, but um, you can see it's really still in great condition, considering I take this absolutely everywhere I go. No matter where I'm going out, I will take this with me, um, and it's in really good condition and it's just kept my iPod really safe from scratches and stuff. So, reading the instructions, uh, how to apply your wraps. Ensure that your device is clean and dry. So what I'm actually going to do is when I've taken off the uh, sticker and also uh, on my laptop, I'm going to use um, a, a wipe just to wipe it down to make sure it's clean and then I have a towel here just to wipe it off make sure it's dry um, otherwise your wraps might not stick properly uh, gently peel the wraps away from its backing taking care not to stretch it so be really careful when you're peeling it you don't want to just pull it and stretch the design uh, lightly position the wraps over your device, device, device. make sure the wraps um, 
does not obscure any screens or buttons so make sure you're lining it up correctly say if you're using if you're doing the front of an iPod you don't want to like cover the buttons or anything I actually found this really easy to do so hopefully I can do that again um, and if you can see I don't know if you can be able to tell but on here where the ring is can you see the two little lines just above this finger you need to make sure you don't stick those bits and those bits on it just means that there's a little bit of uh, leeway to press the buttons once you're satisfied with the position press it down firmly um, if you want to and you want to get the perfect bond of the glue onto the product just apply a little bit of heat with your hairdryer I'm not going to do that because I want to be able to remove it um, without any kind of residue behind and then it says to remove your wraps simply peel it away from the device and don't worry it won't leave any marks or residue which we will test now because obviously this has been on for a year and we will see I can tell it's got a little bit grubby around the sides just that's normal though isn't it being in my pocket full of chocolate and stuff um, and then it has the pictures of how to apply it on a phone a laptop and an iPod so let's do that so I'm just gonna angle you down so you can see what I'm doing so this is my iPod and I'm gonna start with the back I think so oh I'm really sad I'm sad and excited at the same time. Oh, I'm so sad. I don't know if I'll be able to use it again, actually, because it's it has been on a year, so it's got quite dry. Oh, that's coming off quite easily, actually. Um, I've probably only talked about what they're made of, I think. Seriously, there's been in my hair underneath this this whole time. Okay. Hello, Mr. Apple. I'm not seeing you in a while. And voila. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. Okay, so there's the sticker. You can see it's really, really thin. I'm going to talk about what this is made of in the video if I haven't already. I'm just going to put this down the side for now so I can stick it back on this sheet in a minute so taking a wipe I'm just going to wipe this down because you can see here it's got a little bit of um, sticky sticky um, on it which is really to be expected after it being stuck on there for a year it's coming off really easily though so just use a wipe if you've got any um, stuff on your iPod. So my iPod is 120 gigabytes if anybody wants to know. I always thought it was 160 but I couldn't see the back so. <laughs> so I'll just wipe that down. I'm going to use a towel to make sure it's completely dry because I want this sticker to last for a very long time. You can see how scratched it is compared to how scratched the sticker was because obviously I had my iPod for quite a few years before um, I got that sticker. I think I got this when I was 15. So that's, that's completely dry now. So here we go peeling off the back really carefully I'm sorry that this is upside down for you I'll try and flip it in the it peels off really really easily in fact if you look at the two stickers next to each other I think they're actually different um, types of material I'm not sure I just could be because that one's really old now so I'm just going to make sure I've got the instructions face up. It says, peel away the backs from its packaging, which I have done. Position and press firmly onto the device. So, I'm just going to place it down first of all. 
if you just zoom in a little bit for you. And then I'm just going to start at the bottom here and because iPods are slightly curved I'm just going to push down. And just use my thumb to make sure there's no bubbles. Easy as uno duo tre. And that is the back. Are made balls okay so the front is going to be a little bit tricky because of the wheel and as you can see I didn't stick the wheel bit on because I thought it looked a bit more jazzy and I'm not going to do it with this one either just because I really like the contrast of the two and being able to see that because I really love the iPod itself but I also love the sticker so first of all I'm going to peel off the wheel sticker actually I'm going to stick this one back on here just so I can use it again sometime. Like that, okay. So, let me just turn this off so it's not annoying you. Hello, I've not seen you in a while. Okay, so that's the little wheel sticker and I'm just going to place that on here for now and I would recommend that you put on if you're going to put this bit of the sticker on put it on last because then you can uh, align it with this sticker um, pattern wise rather than sticking that down and then it being the wrong way so now I'm going to do this bit and I've not seen the front of my iPod in so long I miss you baby I'm sorry that this video ends up being so long, but you know, these things need to be done. So again, be very careful around here, because if you pull this, sorry, I'm not even in focus, if you pull this, it would stretch the sides. So do be careful when you're peeling it, not to stretch. So this is okay, my so iPod. And I'm going to start with the back, I think. So, oh, I'm really sad. I'm sad and excited at the same time. Oh, I'm so sad. I don't know if I'll be able to use it again, actually, because it's it has been on a year, so it's got quite dry. Oh, that's coming off quite easily, actually. Um... I've probably only talked about what they're made of, I think. Seriously, there's been in my hair underneath this this whole time. <sighs> okay. Hello, Mr. Apple. I've not seen you in a while. And voila. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. Okay, so there's the sticker. You can see it's really, really thin. I'm going to talk about what this is made of in the video if I haven't already. I'm just going to put this down to the side for now so I can stick it back on this sheet in a minute. So, taking the wipe, I'm just going to wipe this down because you can see here it's got a little bit of um, sticky sticky um, on it, which is really to be expected after it being stuck on there for a year it's coming off really easily though so just use a wipe if you've got any um, stuff on your iPod so my iPod is 120 gigabytes if anybody wants to know I always thought it was 160 but I couldn't see the back so <laughs> just wipe that down I'm gonna use a towel to make sure it's completely dry because I want this sticker to last for a very long time Peeling off the back really carefully. I'm sorry that this is upside down for you, but I'll try and flip it in the... It peels off really, really easily. It says, peel away the backs from its packaging, which I have done. Position and press firmly onto the device. So... I 
I'm just going to place it down first of all. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you. And then I'm just going to start at the bottom here and because iPods are slightly curved, I'm just going to push down. And just use my thumb to make sure there's no bubbles. Easy as uno duo tray. And that is the back. Our maze balls. Okay, so the front is going to be a little bit tricky because of the wheel. And as you can see, I didn't stick the wheel bit on because I thought it looked a bit more jazzy. And I'm not going to do it with this one either, just because I really like the contrast of the two. And being able to see that, because I really love the iPod itself, but I also love the sticker. So, first of all, I'm going to peel off the wheel sticker. Actually, I'm going to stick this one back on here, just so I can use it again sometime. Like that, okay. So, let me just turn this off so it's not annoying you. Hello, I've not seen you in a while. Okay, so that's the little wheel sticker, and I'm just going to place that on here for now. And I would recommend that you put on. If you're going to put this bit of the sticker on, put it on last because then you can uh, align it with this sticker um, pattern wise rather than sticking that down and then it being the wrong way. So now I'm going to do this bit. So that's my iPod and as you can see it's got a little bit of stickery stuff there. Um, actually no, that's just a bit of the colour. So this bit's okay I'm going to stick it down so let me zoom out a little bit and I'm going to start by peeling the bottom because it's the bigger bit be very careful when you're peeling this okay I don't want that wheel bit so leave that behind please make sure you get that little bit as well you don't want that, okay. So, to stick this down, I would recommend, recommend to start at the top, just kind of this line here, place it along the line there. And once you've lined up, that the rest of it should just lay down like that and then There you go. I'm just going to push down the sides to make sure um, there's no, like you can see a gap here. Focus. You can see the gap here. I'm just going to push that down there. Pit down. This one should be fairly easier because there's no fiddly buttons in the way. But what you want to make sure if you're sticking down a laptop one is that you stick it on the right way round. So when you open it, imagine the way you want it to face, which way up you want it. Okay, so that's it looking cleaner than it has in ages. And what I mean is when you open it, do you want the sticker facing like this way or that way? So I want mine like this rather than it being upside down when it's open. 
even though it would look nice like that but then it's upside down so I'm going to stick it this way around so just make sure that you remember this one should be easier to peel off as well because it's just one big piece so peel it off like that use my arm as kind of like a rolling pin and just roll the design down that was easy easy peasy so that is my new laptop case so when it's open i'll be typing away and this is going to look freaking awesome i don't know why i keep going american when i say that but it is bloody beautiful so that is that and um these are my two new favorite items so um i'll pass you back to serena now in the future and she will tell you how you can win uh, a voucher to buy your own ipod cover or laptop skin or anything else you can think of so thanks serena in the past um it's now serena in the future again and i'm going to tell you the rules on how you can win so these are the rules first and then I'll tell you how you can win. So it's going to run from today till the 27th of March 2012 and it's going to end at 7pm Greenwich Mean Time or English Time. It's going to be international because I don't need to send it in the post or anything. I can just message you on YouTube with the um, code. Um, do have parents permission anyway though just because it's going to be a bit weird if you're like yeah, yeah i won this and they're like how did you win that so please have parents permission if you're under like 16. there are going to be three winners girls and boys can enter obviously because you're going to personalize this to your own liking you can add text you can design your own you can use a design that's already made they do um ipods laptops ps3 covers wii covers things for tv things for ipads um anything you can think of they do a skin for it and you must be a subscriber because this is a thank you to all my lovely subscribers who have got me to where I am right now sorry my phone just went off um, and then I would like you to either like or favorite this video you don't have to do both or you can do both but please do one at least one of those things um, so now I'm going to tell you how you can enter so this isn't going to be a comment entry video because um, I know a lot of people Google, Google, a lot of people search on YouTube for giveaways and then just enter everything and I want this for, to be for like true subscribers and people who actually, you know, want to win. So there is going to be like a little bit of a challenge but don't be too alarmed, it's not going to be too scary. Um, so as you can see from the beginning of this video and the banner on my channel and my sticker i like my moustaches right yes yes i do so what you need to do is take a picture of you wearing a moustache in a public place so maybe you've nipped into town with your friend and you're in superdrug nobody's around in the aisle just whip out a moustache get your friend to take a picture and then you're done so I'm going to be picking three winners, kind of the best photo, the best moustache, the best public place, the best pose, anything like that. So I've just put, take a picture of you wearing a moustache, you can draw it on your finger, you can have one on a stick, whatever you want. Um, and then you can either email it to me at lovesprettywildthings at hotmail.co.uk or you can put it in like a slideshow and leave it as a video response to this video, whichever is easiest for you. Um, if you're going to email it to me, put in the subject wraps competition because then I'll know it's a picture of you wearing a moustache and I'm more likely to open the email. Um, so all the information you're going to need is below and all the information about the wraps um, details and everything also will be below because I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible. Thank you so so much for helping me get to YouTube Partner and um, hopefully you will enjoy doing this competition and I'm looking forward to seeing your entries. Um, Anyone can enter, like I've said, like a million times, and I will see you very soon. Bye.